It's your penis rolls. Hey Space Cadets and Airheads, welcome to Season 3 of Not 40 Just Blank. It's a radical and righteous podcast in which each episode we take you back to the bodacious 1980s, looking back at news, TV, sports, film and music of a single year of that bitchin' decade. It sounds mega. So come and join us on our latest gnarly journey, dudes, as we head back to the 80s, the decade that fashion forgot, right here on Not 40 Just Blank. Hello, is that you hiding over there? Come on, don't be shy. Come and join us for another episode of Not 40 Just Blank. We're back and we're continuing our deep dive into the 1980s. In today's episode, we're going back to the cheeky bitch that was 1982. And joining me as ever are my favourite 80s rejects, Phil and Dell. Good evening, you toe rags. Evening, evening sir. Evening. How are we diddling? Toot, 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 toot. Toot, toot. Very are good. We, are we ready? We're ready. Yep. 82. 82, mate. Nothing 82. happened, right? Well, it didn't. It Nothing. Did. No. no. It sounds or like an important it. year. Right, should we wrap it up then? It just sounds like it. Should we, go, should we, should call it, we yeah. just call it? Call just it go, Nothing happened, so. can't be asked. Oh, fuck you. We'll see you next week for <laughs> 83. Yeah, exactly. No, bollocks. Let's do this properly. Okay, let's do it. Um, okay, buckle up. Next oh, one. sorry. Just one important question I just wanted to ask you before you start. Are you going to ask us to beatbox? No, no, nothing like that. Um, strange name for the entire It's been bugging me for a little while, actually, since we've done these sort of pods, since we started, actually. I just really needed to know what's your favourite monkey, boys? Favourite uh, what? Monkey? Yeah, what's your favourite type of monkey? Oh, I thought you meant the member of the band. Well, you could do, yeah. Well, give me give me that and then give me your favourite type <laughs> was, of monkey. Who's the little one with the, uh, the bowl cut? Yeah. Um, favourite monkey, um, probably a ring-tailed lemur. Oh. Yeah, no fucking around. <laughs> Look at him, he's going to go close oh, deep, of, uh, deep, <laughs> deep. Loose. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Bad, just like, um, yeah, fuck it. I'm changing my mind. Clyde from every which way but loose. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking of orangutan. Yeah, yeah, orangutans. I love orangutan. Just do you love a gorilla? I don't know what they. Are. It's just the general monkeys you get in the zoo, and what, what ones are they? <laughs> All of them. I, yeah, I, I tell you, know, like, I don't the know, like the ones out the PG tips advert. What are the they? Chimpanzees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chimpanzee. <laughs> the general monkeys. The general monkeys. The yeah, chimpanzee. Oh, yeah, yeah. The agencies. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, bog standard. General monkeys. <laughs> okay. You're average monkey. I just want a bog standard, middle of the road monkey. Yeah, yeah, I what can do. Got a couple of monkeys. I can send you a wiper. Pianos. Yeah, I want one of them. You you have it. I'll play it. That was the fucker, wasn't it? Oh, can you name me a Hollywood star who did the voice? Of that, you probably won't get it. What, but it's a female, tips? female voice who did the PG Tips voiceover. Hollywood, star. Hollywood star. Yeah, more a national treasure over here. But she's a she's classed as a Hollywood star. Oh, that feels like it's going to be Joanna Lumley or someone like. No, that. Uh, one guest each. I'm going to go her. for Judy Dench. Judy, uh, uh, Miriam Margulies. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, she did the old voice. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's a lovely uh, start, Richard. Um, uh, yeah, I'll go with orangutan probably as well, boys. But um, I love saying baboon. 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 You say it, repeat it a number, number of times as it becomes. It yeah. sort of loses all meaning. Baboon. Yeah. Baboon. But you sound like you do when I go like beatboxing again. I, do, I did. Yeah, yeah, no. Sorry. Sorry. Again. You, say, you feel like, you're like a father <laughs> raining me in. Then <laughs> 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 just a crowbar in another beatboxer. That's it's it. Like, again. He wants to talk about baboon. 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 Baboon, 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 no, baboon. Um, we're going weird. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say, I saw it today in the toilets of the O2. Um, I saw it, uh, Pasty Shaggers on tour. Um, <laughs> there it says, so Are we there's a also, link in the uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it up, I'll put it up on the Facebook, uh, so and the Instagram pasty page. Shaggers pasty on Shaggers on tour. on tour. So I'm guessing it's a stag that, other than that, it's kind of fucked up because they're sticking their dicks in hot, mulling, laughing pasties. Red, 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 yeah, so yeah, that intrigues me. So I just thought the I'd the share it with you boys. A pasty can be like a thousand. That's degrees. what I mean. Yeah, so, so actually, shag a pa- uh, yeah. pa- like that? American pie. The O2 toilets. Yeah, the O2 toilets. Yeah. What are you doing at the O2? I did a. Was it a uh, indoor skydive today? Oh, nice. A skydive. <laughs> skydive. Skydive. <laughs> skydive. <laughs> sky, sky Dave. Sky. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Skydive. I met loads of guys called Dave. Go, yeah, and, and went, hi. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi Dave. Oh, nice. Yeah, so Are it's good. good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, recommend it. Yeah. I you recommend gonna a, it. You can do a proper one soon, you wimp. I will do, yeah. I do. <laughs> I mean, I'm will pl- do it. laying the challenge. <laughs> yeah. You will physically. That's what I said. Yeah. We'll do, should we do a not 40 parachute? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? And um, your parachutes are not 40. Thank fucking Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, we're out of here. Not for, nice. yeah. Oh, well, well when Not it comes just around, we'll, um, we'll definitely sponsor you, Dale. Oh, thank <laughs> you, man. <laughs> we, won't, we won't be joining you. It's what we're basically Damn about it, Jam it. All right, let's, uh, let's bust on with 1982 then, mm. fellas. Um, where should we start? Should we start as we normally do with a little bit of a... Um, well, makes sense. Brief, brief news as to what was happening in the year to yeah. give people a bit of a flavour. Oula. Um, so, first thing, obviously, to say is uh, rear of the year. Miss Susie Quattro. Yeah. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Did you Ooh. try canning that? Weird. Oh, wow. But mm. she was she was seventies when she was she more in, prominent in the seventies. I would say at the end of the seventies. Yeah. yeah. Into that. The she's 80s, kind of yeah, glam still, rock, wasn't she? Yeah. So. She still rocked the levers, didn't she? She was still having yeah. it, and clearly the uh, the rear, rear quarters of the, of the Quattro were uh, doing doing absolute bits. So that's the big news out of the way. Let's talk about the trivial stuff. Mm. There's a Sorry. Falklands War. It was. Falking hell. Falking hell. hell. Falking hell. Ridiculous. April to June. Didn't right. last very long, did nah, it? Exactly. Yeah. Cool, mate. We do wars well, don't we? Once we, we're in our... Shake killer, up especially up. when Thatcher's <laughs> yeah. in charge. Yeah, yeah. kill a couple and of she, And she got the BBC that like, warned Britain will bomb Argentina. She got the BBC to do it? Well, like, the BBC, like, pretty much warned Brit- like, Britain will bomb Argentina. Oh, really? Like, what's so that Terry Wogan went over and, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you <laughs> tell them? Like, like camouflage. Yeah. Bombs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So but, yeah, it was a 74-day conflict. Not yeah, even a war, been... was it? A conflict. Yeah. So it was basically us just parked slightly away from their island on a boat. Is that where it was? And they, their, their missiles couldn't reach ours, so we just bombed them from range. And, just, and they went, oh, when it, one of them islands we nicked in like colonial days and oh, all that like, shit. We, we yeah, probably. Most of the shit that we've done. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're entitled to. We got, we got funny that. about like there's a country that's right next to fucking like, island. Yeah, we're like, mm. yeah. It's a, oh, okay, but God bless them. It was uh, done, dusted, and we got that piece of shitty island back next yeah. to Argentina. Well Ooh, done. There you go. Um, Prince William was born. Yep, future king, and one step closer now. Obviously, uh, Charles is the he official, is, yes. official monarch. <laughs> um, and Talk- mass employment was fourteen percent. That's pretty much all I've got. Yeah, it what was a quite, year! Right. It was wow. quite. A, Big recession, wasn't it? I think Massive. in America as well. It was there? going through some oh, really? shit. There oh, were snowstorms really? as well in America. Wow. Yeah. yeah, apparently at one point in America, it was 75% covered with snow. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So that's, that's quite, that's quite Imagine the sledging mm. for that. that been going. Holy moly. Yeah, but yeah that's sledging like, off the yeah, Grand Imagine Grand how, vast, how vast that is and 75% of it covered, covered in, in snow. snow. That's shit, the bed. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty severe, isn't it? Ooh. Um, it's the only fun. other thing I've got really is the first successful heart transplant is performed. Oh, really? Wow. Really? So yeah. what, the ones that had failed before, was it quite a lot? Thousands of them. Yeah, it must have been, yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, yeah. yeah. But that's still quite... Uh, people just put in quite a long time ago. People Lego it? in instead of... Uh, this, yeah. like, in what, our, uh, what have you put in, Dr. Dr. Meadows? Oh, I've put in some butter. Really? Is that not, is yeah. not good enough? I no. can't quite get it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand why it keeps failing <laughs> us. Um, don't know what to do here. Yeah, don't know what to do. <laughs> you sound exactly like Dr. Nick. Hey, everybody! He's not doing the heart chance one, is he? Yeah! That would be great if he should be. Just walks yeah. in. I've got some Lego. Good. Uh, you mentioned a healthy thing. The mm. first twins born through IVF treatment as well. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, a lot of breakthrough. For, for big breakthrough shit. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Uh, mm. Anything else of note in the year? No, not really. It's pretty much there was a World Falklands Cup, and, yeah, World Cup. And Italy won it. Yep. Pretty much all the excitement that you got there. And Liverpool won the treble again. All oh, right, okay. They were just winning. They were, yeah. Booking everything back then, though, weren't they? So... Yeah, that is that's basic news. Should we move on to some more interesting news? With, weird uh, news. Dello. So you got weird news today. Um, there wasn't a lot of detail behind it, so I'm going to really. <laughs> is there a? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> you say it like that's a surprise. Uh, I'm actually. So a bit... we've, got to guess, we've got to guess numbers again. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to give you some basic facts, and you're going to try and fill a little in bit hurt there, a little bit already. offended here. But um, <laughs> I can't see how. Anyway, you so I'm going to give you like almost like blankety blank. So you, you fill in the blanks. So. Oh, nice. Like so blankety blankers. Blank. Blankers. Blankety blank. Blankers, Blankers, yes, There's you've said it before. In this. Yeah, right. So ger- there was a German surgeon fired after getting who to assist him in an amputation. Uh, a dog, Porter. So it's a. It is a job title. Oh. You're on the right track with Porter. So German secretary. So I think in hospital. So like. So probably, Cleaner. probably, probably the worst person you'd want to help you in an operation. Oh, thinking of the job roles in a hospital. Uh, oh my Christ! Mortician. Um, yeah, I was just about to say. I'll give, uh, no, I'll give you a clue. There, in, in a famous sitcom, one of these characters was quite prominent. 
in being a prankster in a in a in a medical sitcom. Medical sitcom. Medical sitcom. In the nineties, with Zach Braff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so we're talking Scrubs. Yeah. Uh, so he was the caretaker or the, the janitor. The janitor. Yeah. The, they got so, the janitor to help the janitor out. Janitor to assist. Yeah. Assist how fucked out. up is that? Right. In a, in a what? What, in what, in what, an what, amputation. Oh, I mean, he's got access to sores. And yeah, <laughs> so maybe, so maybe that's what he went knocked to. Knocked him out with a hammer. Maybe they'd run out of He all probably the had to put that in the mouth. Was that a, make sure oh, sorry, what? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Amputate this. No, no, don't. Imagine if he just fucked off and again he took the wrong leg on, on all that thing <laughs> like that. Yeah. Just, just, like, yeah. just uh, come on. Coming back. He's a janitor, but he doesn't know his left. Or uh, he fucked <laughs> off and he actually did the first successful <laughs> transplant. He was the guy. <laughs> he, the cleaner. He left him to it. He was so, the guy that did it. Who is this guy? He's a maverick. He's the janitor. Right. Okay. So you, right, you got Ooh, that. Right. Nice. Next Roll one. On. Right. On. There's a man indicated in theft of what garment from the Wizard of Oz? Uh, the lion suit. No. So, man, uh, I'm going to go with. Tin Man. No. Winged Monkey. Think more Dorothy. Red Shoes. Yes. Oh. Someone so. stole the red shoes from the actual film. Yeah. Bloody hell. So. Old move. Right. I would have checked uh, probably Kansas first. Next of all, one. The location of them. Yeah. Surfing Alligator. <laughs> There's not much detail on this. That's enough. Rides what in Alabama? Uh... Wave. Wave. Well, it's cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rides a wave. That's it. That's it. Thanks. Simple. Thanks. Thanks. I, thought you, I was looking for motorbike. I thought oh, you might like go right between the lines. I heard something. Rides. I thought, hang on, <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> might ride. He might ride. My mind might, Mrs. Straight. Alligator might ride her husband. Too a bit of like alligator porn. I've got his hobby. I was going to say, my, 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 my mind went straight to cock. Oh, it's just like cock. <laughs> cock. <laughs> right, it's cock. But you didn't say it out loud. I think I did. Right. <laughs> Your mind just went there. Your mouth didn't join it. Chicken loose on what stops what service in Mexico? Motorbike funeral. <laughs> chicken I like loose it. On chicken loose on stops funeral blank. Service. Chicken stops loose on railway blank. stops Ooh. trains. Midday service. Oh, Phil, yeah. Has yeah. He it? yeah. Yeah. There's nothing you don't. Chicken loose on subway stops about. train okay. service in Mexico City. Holy Whoosh. Well, right. So we're done with the headlines. Cut ish. <laughs> I mean, they are <laughs> the headlines that we that, wanted that, to hear. Yeah, of course. 82 was screaming out for it, wasn't it? It was, it was a depressing uh, year. We needed them. So now we've got Jim Rus still. <gasps> weird <gasps> records. Weird records. Holy mackerel. Right. So we're hitting you fast, and it's not because I've had shitloads of caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is. Listen. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> what is the fastest speed? For a motorcycle blindfolded. So, who was what was the fastest speed for a guy on a motorbike blindfolded? Uh, kilometers or miles an hour? It's miles per hour, and okay. you get a bonus point if you give me the distance as well. What before he fell off? Or so he's riding. Well, I think I'll get there. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Straight. I reckon you can get up to. It's scary when you can't see it. I know, mean, uh, it feels faster. Eight, Eighty-two it? miles an hour. Okay, so Jim's and Jim's going eighty-two. He went for nearly a kilometre. Okay. I mix. I'm mixing my miles and my kilometres, but I don't care. Think I f- blindfolded. He could go any speed. Phil looks like he's having a shit. So. Oh, really what did you say? Eight two. That's a good. That's a good speed. It's not is. a bad speed, is it? That's a good speed. That gives, that's caused me some problems. I'm gonna go, old Brucey, on you. Hi, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm gonna okay. go seventy four. Okay. I reckon half a mile. Half a mile, right? Okay. So the speed, Dale. 164 Fuck miles yeah. per hour. The front, the front door. The for door, one yeah. mile. Oh. Ooh. So I think I got it on distance, and not well. You got it on cl- closer. You was yeah, yeah. okay. If you'd have, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I was nowhere near. I'll give you a half. I'll give you a okay. half if it comes two, in. Two halves. Right. Two halves okay. Half. Right, and it was Billy Baxter from the UK for all you uh, UK record, records oh, people out yeah, there. Your records now. nerds, is your details. He gobble it up, you bastards. Uh, <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Did he fall off? Uh, he didn't really go into it. Just Might like I say, they're all short. I'll have to Google size. him later. Billy Baxter. <laughs> Billy Baxter. <laughs> Cliff! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks very much. After, after you do the, uh, was it the Wizard of Oz and the, the yeah. Dark Side of the Rainbow, that's yeah. it. Yeah, do that. Billy Baxter. Right, what was the fastest time ever recorded for drinking two litres of soda? 
two litres of something. That's one of those tall, thin bottles. Mm. Oh, people can do that ridiculously, though, can't they? They can open their gullet and really guzzle it down, can't mm. they? But remember... But it's fizzy and there's a lot of it because it's going to start reacting with your stomach, isn't it? Well, still, I reckon there's some weird way they can do it. Go on, pretty, we got, I'm going to go... <laughs> Just so you're aware, I'm going to reenact it. I'm going to go. Up as well. I'm going. I'm literally going to go two point one seconds. Oh my lord! <laughs> right, okay. That's insanity. Okay. Um, well, any. <laughs> I mean, that's literally not possible. Um, so I'm going to say <laughs> three seconds because I know it's closer. I think it's more like. Jim- Eight, 18 seconds or something. <laughs> 18.45 oh, seconds. There he goes. <laughs> Jimmy, two, oh. two seconds. <laughs> two oh, that's done. That's crazy. I don't think wow. petrol goes All that, that fizz actually, as well. It? Yeah, the exactly. fizz would bubble up. I'm just, just thinking like, about yeah. people. It's like, I've literally just been like Nick. Wow. Yeah, but there's so much pine as well. But yeah, that's pines. Okay. Yeah, no, but, but like ridiculously fast. Yeah. Like, okay, like, right. What was the longest legs on a person? <laughs> <laughs> this is really, so about, about that long. Uh, <laughs> longest legs on a, a person? Centimeters, please. A centimeters. You can give me if you can give me right and left if you want, but they're both very similar. <laughs> I uh, hope so. Yeah. Otherwise, they're massively locked. <laughs> Walked in some very strange circles. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, Centimeters, I mm. think. Four, isn't Julia? I remember this from Pretty Woman. She's got forty-four inches of leg, and there's two and a half centimeters in an t- inch. Okay. So I'm going to say. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Pretty Woman. One hundred and twenty-one centimeters. Okay. For the right. I mean, it <laughs> the was right. the left one. So it's got to be like twenty-three. It's okay. got to be like the tallest man now, isn't it? So I mean, sure, he yeah, was like. About Robert 11 Wad- foot, wasn't he? No, Robert Wadlow was just under nine foot tall. Was he? Okay. So he's, yeah, I mean, he's. Yeah, you're right. He, he was bigger than that. For put it this way. I, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, legs. <laughs> I've massively underestimated it by quite a bit. So anything more than two metres is probably your win, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say 170 centimetres. Uh, was Mackie Curran. She's got legs. She's like, got legs. It's 135 <gasps> centimetres. Oh, oh, I think still close. Yeah, yeah. Holy mackerel. That car, she oh. couldn't have had the longest legs, though, because... Tallest man would have had longer legs than that. Don't know. Yeah, unless he was all body. Yeah, but did he, <laughs> yeah. did he measure his legs, though? Right, they just probably just went to the top, the top yeah, probably, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. They were right. Who was the oldest person ever to do the loop the loop on an aeroplane? Like a, like a wing walker. Wing walk, yeah. Walk. Type thing. Oh, oh, do you know what? I think I'm, I've heard this. Well, oh, okay. It's a bit of luck because you're going first. Yeah, it's about not, I'd say 93. I reckon that's a good shout. Okay. I think right. there was someone that I... I well, in this country, they did it at 93, whether it's in she this country. You just get strapped in, don't you? Yeah. So Do you want to give me a name as well? Oh, I don't then. Know. Okay, I'll give you another point. 93 is interesting. Um, or maybe I'll just go... Oh, 90 sounds quite ambitious. I might go slightly younger. 88. It's 95. Holy it's bang on. Schmolies. Adeline Ablett. Lady. Yeah, lady. Brave lady. Right, and this one, like... Jim's clearly won, but I'd do it for shits and gigs because it's quite a good one. I like uh, it's, what was the most ever pint glasses balanced on a chin? Oh, 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 oh. oh that's intriguing. So up in a So this up. one you can give me how many pints and how many seconds did he hold it? For? Yeah. Oh, that's tough one, isn't it? Okay, is it me? It's me, isn't it? Uh yeah. you go up and up and up and it starts to bend, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's you tough. Too you fast, think so I'm guessing I haven't done the pint circuit for a while. I'm going to do... <laughs> I haven't done uh, the balancing chin circuit for a while. 48 pint glasses. Fucking hell, really? Yeah, I reckon. Okay. And I reckon they held it for 22 seconds. Okay. Phil? Phil, Phil looks like, like not, Phil looks like he's looking for God. Around. We're really going to start he's recording got, Yeah, now, it's going to... acts everything out. Yeah, he's great <laughs> acting. This is like we, watching. Before we turn, I'm going to go. I was like, we're looking at the Caprio. I'm going 26. Right, 26, okay. And how long do you hold it for? Or she? He's like, visualising. The visualisation. Sec- 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Fuck me. It was 12 seconds. <gasps> but it was 81 points. Whoa, so, yeah. Really? 81 so, points. So you do get a Madness. point anyway. So the final scores are Jim, four and a half, Phil, two. Oh. So I'm now gutted, gutted, gutted. But great game. Well, great well played, great, boys. Great, great, well, great played. Game. well played. Well played. Well played. Lovely well stuff. Uh, end of your uh, weirdness. End of my bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> end of my stuff. complete bullshit. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's go straight on in that case, chaps. And talk about the fabulous televisual treats. Mm. That yeah, it was quite a bit, wasn't there? Because there was TV. a bit. Because the big thing, obviously, is that Channel 4 launched in this Yeah. Year. 
So boo, anyone know the uh, boo, the very boo, first boo. program that went out <laughs> on Channel 4? <laughs> Channel 4 News. Interesting. It was the Tube. It wasn't. Oh. If I go... Do, 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 oh, was it really can then? Boom. Was it was. Really? Yeah, first was... program went out. With oh, Richard really? Whiteley in this Ooh. league. Yeah. Still going. And still going to this day. So yeah. Richard Whiteley isn't Yeah, it? no. <laughs> yeah. 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 Still, still entertains uh, the old. Oh, no, no it's Cal. Sorry, that's that. been hour. Do you remember? <laughs> do, I, I can't, do you remember the, like the sick jokes coming up about you? You can imagine what it was the the Richard Whiteley and the, the countdown clock and all that sort of stuff. That, I don't know why that just pops in. It's a thing from like school. Yeah, it's yeah. All, it's all them sort of like horrible. Yeah, yeah. There was always there was some like, yeah. grim stuff going around. So I'm leave sure it there. Some grim stuff going around. Yeah, yeah. No, I leave it there. Yeah. Rolf and all the rest of it at the minute. So, all right. Why? What's, what's going on with him? Um, I believe he's released an album. Oh, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> glossing I was over. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> Gloss, glossing <laughs> over. Uh, all right. So Channel Four launches hmm. Wogan. Yeah, of his yeah. run as yes. the yes. chat show king. Cool. That was good Wogan, wasn't it? Yeah, what did he have? He did not give a shit. Did yeah. America had Johnny Carson. We had Terry Wogan. We had Terry with <laughs> Terry his massive Tezza. wig. And his yeah. terrible jokes. What? A I wig? To, I used to love that show, though. Yeah, yeah it, was it was good, wasn't it? He used to get on some absolutely massive names. Yeah. Uh, he was like, why are these people coming over to see this yeah. random dude? Do you remember the George Best one where he just comes on oh, absolutely just bollocks? He just he? starts giggling at saying the word shagging. And he's yeah. just yeah. Like, was that like Ollie Reed as well on? They probably turn up when he was, Wogan. Does he sing like Wild Thing or something? No, like, that's Wild an Aspen that? Company. That? That's another eight is Gem. But yeah, that's yeah. a Gem. Yeah, probably, probably in the next couple of years we see Aspen, don't we? Aspen. That's, that's when TV like because talk shows back then, especially over here, they were very sort of bland when they like quite conservative. Yeah, stuff, yeah. They? even the colour was bland. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was all beige. It was, beige it was like brown. the set, and it was like proper studio set. When it looked like a studio set, it was all like cardboard. When it yeah, it was. wasn't it yeah, all that Michael Parkinson one. As yeah, well. I was like trying to think back. I don't think it wasn't until Jonathan Ross was it started to yeah. ramp up, and then Graham Norton took it on, yeah, and then yeah, you're right, it just actually. went. But um, we are Wogan, yeah, great one, mate. Great um, show. Uh, what else have we got then, chaps? Mr. Reynolds, what's well, made? Cheers. Oh, cheers. I love oh, cheers. It's great, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Great, yeah. Oh, was, do I assume yeah. that was on Channel 4? Yeah, so yeah. I've got a complete box set at home. It's oh, great. I've never, managed to watch, <laughs> I've never managed to watch it all through. Did, we did get about halfway, but well, it is, is that what, good. Is that what yeah. launched Woody Harrelson? <laughs> it sounds it. <laughs> you only got <laughs> yeah. halfway through. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. They watched three episodes <laughs> yeah, before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Ted yeah, Danson. Ted Danson yeah. And, uh, they used to have, uh, I think that Coach, Coach was before Woody turns up. He's, um, he, yeah, he's basically right. a replacement of like... Yeah, like, I think there's one series of Coach and yeah. then, then Woody Allison turns up. Turns up, yeah. Series 2, doesn't he, I think, yeah. yeah it's the farm boy. Yeah, really, that's yeah. right, you're right. But yeah, no, it was a great programme, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, definitely. And a great theme tune as well, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, great theme it, it, it goes throughout this decade, I think. Yeah. There's so many good theme tunes Ooh. on TV just generally, isn't there? So. Yeah, it was good. I've got Remington Steel as well. Ooh. So this is Pierce Brosnan, you. and this is something I was talking about where he it's was meant great to, name. he was meant to be Bond. Oh, we. Um, but yeah. he'd, always, he'd already signed up to do Remington Steel, so then that's why, why wouldn't went. you? I mean, someone offers yeah, you yeah. Remington Steel, uh, so then that's, that's why they went to Timothy Dalton, and then obviously Pierce Brosnan does it a few years. Well, yeah, wow, ten or so years later, but yeah, I don't think he was ready. He wasn't ready. Nah, to be Bond at that nah, point. no, it probably was best he waited. But Very much because so. he had the classics that he did. <laughs> he did. Remington <laughs> still. Remington still. Show yeah, Remington still. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Uh, anything else from you, Mister Rem? Oh, there's loads, but we can go over to Dell for now. Okay, let's uh, let's move across. Uh, I've got a low a low start. I have got that. Yeah, low, and I used to love that. No, I didn't I, like a low a low. It was so I did. It I was like shocking. It. And you like if you, you, you can, well, I don't I think it probably is shown in, on gold and stuff. Oh, I imagine so. But yeah, it's, yeah, some of it's really bad. But they're like obviously the, the policeman that is sort yeah, of like that's all it was, isn't it? Just yeah. ridiculous. I was pissing. pissing but, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I heard two shits. <laughs> two shits. <laughs> <laughs> the British Airman. Gruber right. hair flick when it, and all their um, Helga, all that all that sort of Yeah, so she was the she sex was, mad yeah, the, center, was, she? Yeah, it was, the little guy. <laughs> club, club, yeah. yeah. And then like so Golden K Rene was was like a bit of a glorified sort of Benny Hill, wasn't he? Essentially, yeah, yeah. just like, ravishing all the, all the young, young yeah, wives back. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yet still, you're rooting for him. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. all outrageous. the morals are out the window, isn't it? Yeah. Very much so. Along with the British Airmen. Yes, it is. Was it? yes, like all the, the most really obvious tropes. Though, yeah, it? It was Madonna with the big, big boobies, boobies and, and 
and all the massive cla- sausages. All the stereotypes were, I think, ticked there, weren't they? Yeah, and then yeah, who was the uh, who was the mad SS guy? The mad SS. So you had like the the German soldiers that would sort of eat in the cafe and drink in the cafe. Yeah, and be quite friendly with them. Yeah, and then you had the Gestapo. Oh, like, like hair flick, hair flick. Yeah, hair flick. Hair yes, flick. hair with flick. The proper goose step walk and Gruber and all. That. And all that. Yes, utter madness. Yeah, and there was yeah, it was all forever, it was, didn't it? As well. It did. Yeah, I, I actually exactly the same. Episode essentially ran every, every single, single week. Every single week, yeah. Then they go upstairs, lift the bed yes. up with the old people in it. And then the, the mother in law's in the I bed. Just, I didn't get on with it. I don't know. Oh. I, I, I just find it endearing. I don't particularly find it laugh out loud that's, funny, yeah. but it's that, 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 that runs along with Last of the Summer Wine to me. Hello, hello. So oh, it's it's like, it was it was the safe comedy. Yeah, it's that comedy. It was, it, was, yeah. it was always on in the house, but I just yeah. couldn't get. I just couldn't. It was inoffensive. No swearing. <laughs> Twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, hello, it hello. Just, it was on, oh, but I just it. never. I could never. Oh, oh, oh it is. It is. I would just bypass yeah. it. That's just all it was. Like, though, wasn't it? it was all very safe to watch with the family, okay. seven o'clock sort of stuff. Um, Whereas. The young ones, young ones, yeah, yeah. that was amazing. Yeah, very much not for the parents. Again, one for the kids. Wasn't Kenny it? Everett the year before the young ones was again Starting another little one. I remember my brother punk, watching. Yeah, it was punk it. comedy, was like, yeah. wasn't it? It was punk comedy, wasn't it? It, it was, was great. Oh, you could see like live music as well oh, in it, couldn't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. There I remember was like, seeing the uh, the Lemmy one. Lemmy the one, Spades, Madness like, turn yeah, up. Yeah, Madness. Yeah. Is there. It was like, and it always had the Alexi sound, uh, Alexi sound, and he and it. The one where, like, Brilliant. yeah, Vivian sticks his head out the train window yeah. and it gets knocked off. Oh, and it, going to yeah. the um, recording of... And his head shouting at him. To like, challenge. <laughs> yeah, that's and there's right, always, yeah. like, subliminal fu- uh, images, isn't there? Yeah, little flash frames. It's just, like, a little flash yeah, of, yeah. like, a tap. A, a tap. tap. Just yeah. like... A squirrel. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. yeah. Just, like, they flash up on the screen. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. it was great. It was yeah. just really bizarre, weird. wasn't it? <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, no, brilliant. Oh, um, really like that. We got Super Ted as well. I got Super Ted. So it started on um, the, the Welsh version of, of Channel 4. Channel 4, yeah. S4C, and then, didn't it? And then weird, it moved across it? the following year. Yeah, we went to that ITV, brilliant. didn't it? I think. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love Super Ted. Yeah, oh, all Tex Ted. and all that. And did we Super... mention Melvin Hayes? We did, yeah. 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 So he's Melvin pretty much the same himself. character. Yeah. Um, the Paul Hogan show I've got here, as, is, <laughs> as in like yeah, Phil's uh, favourite Paul, Paul Hogan. Hogan, yeah, a friend of the show. If only Paul Hogan went on Wogan. <laughs> oh, ha, Hogan, oh, oh, Hogan on Wogan. Imagine oh, that. you need a slogan. So that's before you need Cro- a slogan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's before Crocodile Dundee. Then yeah, you're right, Phil. <laughs> 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 it was, uh, but yeah, no, Paul Hogan. Yeah, it's a great show. I was into cricket at the time, and one of the sketches from that was a load of terrorists playing cricket, and for some reason he bowls. A bomb at one of the, the <laughs> at one of the uh, the batsmen, and he hits the bomb with a bat, and then the guy Cad does an amazing catch, but it just it explodes. Blows, blows up, so just it? like it was, I don't know why. That's like now I just watch it and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. But for some reason at the time that was like that was gold. The height, so. the height of absolute eighties comedy. Eighties comedy, yeah, exactly, <laughs> mate. So, but yeah, um, comic strip presents. I was going to say because yeah. we sort of mentioned Alexi Sal and stuff. Was he in that comic strip presents? Was he I in think that? So. Group, probably, he? probably like floating around or, and that. But, but that was great, wasn't it? What was that, the one they the the piss take they did of the like famous the fire? Fire, yeah. go mad in Dorset. That's it, yeah. They, it's, yeah, really. That, yeah, Jennifer Saunders and Dawn uh, French. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and Rick oh, Mao. And Rick Mao is quite Mal, a few. Is it Mel Smith? Is it? It could be. I can't remember. I'm sure, was that? No French and Saunders. Yeah, kind of alternative. Wave. So it was Aid Edmondson, Rick Nigel Plainer was. Oh, it, Nigel Plainer, yeah. Link and yeah, various others, but sort of a cast of six or seven. Mm. It was good, really good. The only other thing I wish I used to love this, I don't, I don't know why, but it was Huckleberry Finn and Friends. The cartoon version or the um, the live action version? I actually like oh, the live action. Harold, wasn't it? Yeah, so Huckleberry Finn, it was on, yeah, I can't remember it's ITV, but I used to love that. It was just. Uh, Did you just enjoy it? Is that where your love of like jean shorts has come from? It was, yeah, a little bit. Right. Oh, they'll on be the more prominent that, later. Oh, the river on that boat, didn't it? I remember yes, that. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. Lovely. Oh, he, he, lovely he, cinematography on it. it was beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Light dappled on the water. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's yeah, so. the filmmaker in the field. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, and Clive James on TV. I just remember him doing absolutely. Yeah. Is that when he used to do his, like postcards and like the funny stuff from around the yes. world? Like, look at all yeah. the weird foreigners doing stuff. Well, at my thing. at my first job, he uh, used to like be a postboy for a chartered accountants, and we was in Orange Street, and one of our our clients was Clive James. Oh. And when he when he used, to, <laughs> he used to come in, he used to, they used to put on a big spread for him upstairs. So you weren't allowed <laughs> to go in, but you'd like have a peek round and yeah. it'd be Clive James. I don't know what you was expecting, like him to say something. 
funny about yeah. TV or some shit. But it wasn't. He just come in, got in the lift, and went up there. And then when he come back down, everyone used to run upstairs to, to, the sandwiches to get his sandwiches. And wonder yeah. if Clive's had that. I was like, what the fuck? Is Taking a bite out of Taking it. Taking a bite <laughs> of stale bread. <laughs> <laughs> so, so not to get their own sandwiches, just see if they could <laughs> get one that they eat eaten. Which one's Clive James's which sandwiches? Which fingered? <laughs> yeah, what one's he got? Oh, so. you dirty bugger, Clive. Yeah, yeah it's a bizarre one. So. Was that when he had like the margarita Pracatine of the lady? It from might be, Columbia, yeah. I, I think it might have been later with that, but I think, yeah, yeah I think that's when it debuted Clive James on TV. So, yeah, nice. Yeah, that's all I've got. There were things like um, Treasure Hunt on Channel Four, I think, started off. Annika Rice running oh, Annika around Rice, and the yes. whole, um, yeah, her in a helicopter searching out clues and shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, it was yeah bizarre, very bizarre. But I'm sure it will come back again. Um, the Tube. Starting yeah, yeah sorry. As well. What is that mm-hmm. with? Paulie Eight. Paulie Eight. What's, uh, eight, what's his name? Uh, Jules, <laughs> Jules Holland. Jules Holland yeah. Yeah. Which is sort of a precursor to what he does now and still continues to do. Um, food and drink, that sort of stuff started. It was just all just cruddy telly. But I do remember Saturday Superstore. Mm. Oh, yeah. Started. In yeah, that's year. great. Yeah. Mike Reed. Mike Reed. John Craven. <laughs> not not the Mike Reed from EastEnders. Not the Mike Reed yeah. from EastEnders. <laughs> yeah. 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 was there. And, uh, Chiggers, yes. Was he naked? Friend of the pod. <laughs> was he Sarah naked? <laughs> oh, I love Sarah. Oh, I wish she was I naked. Love Sarah oh, yes. Oh, Those handwriting we've, tales. We've touched on it before. Oh, oh, I, did used to, I did used to love Sarah Green. Yeah. Love <laughs> the green, green grass of home. Very much so. Um, I've got a couple things ended this year. Ooh. Guttingly. What, what ended, man? Tis was. Oh. Oh, poor old Chris Tarrant and his craziness. Uh, the goodies. The good. Oh, I used to love the goodies. I remember you saying. Not the nine o'clock news. Yeah, that love, love that uh, that's what well, I'm yeah. thinking about Mel Smith. Mel Smith and, yeah. Not the nine o'clock yeah, news. Yeah, used to like that. That's great. Ryan Atkinson and all the rest yeah, of Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, open All Hours, that kind of soft, yeah, gentle comedy sort of... again. Um, it's a knockout ended this year. Yeah. And Parkinson's. That's... Oh, I've got a few really, more starters. Come right back, yeah. I've they're... got a few more starters, but Ooh, I don't know if I'm yeah. getting them right because I, I would have thought I've okay. got Knight Rider started in '82. Oh, no, I haven't got that. Maybe you might have done in America. Maybe in America, yeah. yeah maybe it was. I reckon. I've so. got Blackadder as well. Uh, no, I've, really? I think you're a, a year out. Mate. Oh, okay. TJ Hooker. Yeah, you're all very much Brookside. No, stop oh, saying TJ things. TJ Hooker was amazing. All of, all but I've got the young ones as well. Police Squad. No. Police. <laughs> so I've got police. TJ well. Hooker. Oh mate, I I used to love it. Oh, no, but, no, yeah. Uh, the one I've got here, Towels of the Golden Monkey. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, that didn't come no. up really. It was a bit like no, an Indiana no. Jones thing, and he he had a, he had a, he had, a he had a plane, like a seaplane, he used to land on the river and, oh, yeah. and then they'd have little adventures, you know, they'd have a monkey in there. Oh, <laughs> that's great. <sounds> <laughs> so, <laughs> it probably was, but So Dale asked you earlier, your mm. favourite monkey, monkey and you yeah. went, you know, an average monkey. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't come up with that fucker. Man. Yeah, come yeah, you're coming out yeah, all but, sorts of monkey news. But yeah, <laughs> oh, monkey news with fucking Phil. And I've got sons and da- sons and daughters as well. Right, okay. Oh. Love and laughter, tears and happiness, yes, and joy. Well, I've, I've written down sons of daughters. I don't know. Sons of daughters. Sons. <laughs> sons and daughters. Very specific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, safe to say, a half decent year for telly. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Also, Police yeah. Squad, though, if it was 82. And they'll look into 1983's oh, okay. telly with uh, Phil Reynolds there. <laughs> if it was 82, Police Squad needs to be managed. Yeah, that was a yeah, brilliant, brilliant. programme. I would have thought one of us would have had that. If That's why I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking, why isn't no one mentioning these? Yeah. That's why, yeah. Because they follow. <laughs> they come next Maybe, year. yeah. That, that's Maybe. Why. Oh. oh well, it's nice to well, let's have a little dip in. <laughs> yeah. dip it must a have, little, uh, it must be early eight. A little though. trailer for next episode. Yeah. <laughs> Three teas, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Lovely stuff. Well done, chaps. Right, chaps, we're going to barrel right on and we're going to look at the films from 1982, don't you know? Uh, usual format, top three. Let's start with a Rockin' Ronnie Rosenthal. Yeah. Or Phil, as we should probably This call was a tough one. There were some good films. Well, that's... <sighs> I still haven't really figured that's out what my show. top three bit, is. Right. Bit, bit of luck, isn't it? I have just... Gone by my top three quickly, so I'm going to go number three. So it works. That's, that's literally the format. Okay. Number three. Always a good starting point. Okay. Here it comes. The King of Comedy. The King of Comedy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to kind of watch it again this week, but I didn't I get a chance. I watched it today. It's, it's still good quality. Film, it? Yeah, still brilliant. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's obviously a Scorsese, De Niro, Jerry Lewis, 
Uh, and he's, he's pretty much it's a bit of a but... darker comedy version of the taxi driver. He's, yeah. he's, his character is pretty much like Travis Bickle in, okay. in Taxi Driver. But, he, but he's he, quite dark. It's a dark comedy. Dark comedy. But he's funny. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's their obsession. So he's like a, um, he's a wannabe kind of TV presenter, stand-up comedian. And he kidnaps um, Jerry Lewis, who is like a successful and he kind but of... But he's also a stalker yeah. and he's yeah. like a fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's and like he's going for... Yeah, he's doing that, in it? So it's... Uh, it's yeah, it's a really good, isn't it? He's really good comedy. Like I say, really Sandra, dark, twisted. Well, Sandra Bernard as well, in it? She's like absolutely great as a craze stalker. Mm. Is and she her the and lady Dan- that was in uh, Roseanne. Roseanne? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And she and uh, De Niro are trying to outdo each other at one stage, like they're, with their obsession over, like Jerry. I can't remember what it's called. It's not Jerry Lewis, but it's called Jerry, Jerry Langford. Jerry Langford. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's absolutely brilliant, though. It's uh, compelling and that, but it's it's dark and it's crazy. But yeah, it just gets like darker and darker. But it's it's quite funny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, he's like I, I mean, it's weird because he's like Travis Bickle in Tax Drive. He's like yeah, Rupert, he's not, Rupert Pupkin in Pupkin, this. Yeah. It's like the names are ridiculous, aren't yeah. they? He's quite. He's very similar to Taxi Driver, but mm. it is a more. It's not as dark. It is more comedy. But it's yeah. like his delusions that he has. He acts yeah. out like talk shows. He's got a picture. He's cut out like life size cutouts of like. Jerry Langford and he and an audience in his, in his whole house and he every time he's like pretending to be the host of the show his mum's calling him yeah like telling him to turn the noise down right which is actually like Scorsese's mum in real life I think she yeah, turns yeah, up in Goodfellows right. and stuff like that but yeah it's absolutely it, it's it's really mental and then he, he records stuff and then he believes it's almost like he believes the lie if you know what I mean. Yeah. He's that delusional that it almost, he believes it to, was it fake, oh, yeah, fake got, it till you make it type? It's very like, he's got some very like mental health. Oh yeah, big time, yeah. Things in it, yeah. He's, he was, yeah. yeah, it's really ahead of his time for filming it, but he's, yeah, it was very good. Scorsese and De Niro on top form on there, really. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, no, it's brilliant. I, I, yeah, mm. I found it amazing, so. But yeah, so that's my number three. Yeah, if you watch, <laughs> I think if you watch it back, mate, I don't think you'll be disappointed. No, nah, yeah, I probably will watch it. I wanted to watch it. And it might have even been higher if I had probably had watched it. Mm. So that's probably why I only made my three. Oh, um, so what's the two? Oh, I am going to go for it. Mm. It's First Blood. And that's not a bad thing, mm. as if I'm saying it's made the top two. It was, it was whether it was going to be number one. I love First Blood. It's a great film. We're talking Rambo, right? We're yeah. talking Rambo, but First Blood yeah, is the yeah. first one. It's a legit film. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously? Rambo Seriously, 2 and first, 3 yeah. are... Ridiculous. The, the, the other Rambos are rubbish. Which but, one is this one? Is so this, this is, is the like, Viet yeah. Cong. Yeah, so this is where he, he returns back from Vietnam and he's walking... Yeah. He just basically get The sheriff kind of wants to throw him out because he doesn't look the way he, like the way he looks. The curly-haired fella. Uh, that's Bruce Dern, isn't it? Is it Bruce Dern? Is that he's his quite, name? quite a thick stock. He's a big bloke. Yeah, yeah. he's in like he was in a lot of eighties films. Yeah, um, he sees him as a drifter. So he's, he, and he basically Bruce Dern like, doesn't sound right. What's his name? He uh, basically asks him for. He basically offers him a lift politely out of the town. Right. Okay. But all like Rambo wants to just get Brian Dennehy. Of, that's it. No, okay. He just wants to get something to eat, and he just wants to uh, get something to eat, probably somewhere to stay. But because he doesn't like the look of him. He just escorts him out and he yeah. drops him at the end. He's saying that makes Rambo be like, oh, no, I said it, I'm going to yeah, yeah. And then no it point. just escalates from there. But he's obviously, is an ex sort of Green Beret with issues, clearly, because he's got mm, PTSD. PTSD. Again, it's all, it's, again, yeah. it's kind of mental health, isn't it? This, <laughs> but it's, it is a really good film, isn't it? And like, yeah. yeah, they treat him bad. They take him back to the police station. They like hose him down, don't they? Like power yeah. hose. They beat him up. Then, and he and then flashbacks. Yeah, he just the... kind of goes from there and then he goes oh, a bit. Okay. So it triggers. Um, yeah, and then they goes. kind of time turn it. He's the bad guy, but he weren't. He's just kind of sticking up for himself. And then yeah, he goes yeah. on the run. He goes into the forest and, yeah. he, and then it all goes from there. And I think I think I've seen it in sort of fits and stuff. It's the first, the first film is you know, it's, it's a genuine good yeah, film. It's, genuine, it's yeah, really film. like yeah. I suppose there's some little elements so it's it's a bit over the top, but it's uh, still a really good film. And then the ending, yeah, because it was actually a novel, wasn't it? And I think yeah. he, he dies in the novel, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, um, but they changed it because um, obviously they wanted to make the franchise. a franchise out of it. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> then it goes. Yeah, then it just goes stupid. But yeah, I mean the, the other ones are rubbish. But yeah, That's first blood to like Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. I mean they are yeah. they are stupid. Then. Which is just a body count film. Yeah, he bulks up and the hair gets longer and. 
But the first, the first one is a genuinely good film. First and Blood it could yeah. have contemplated the number one to that point. It could have been your very top film. It, it could have been, <laughs> yeah. But ET made my top one, and it is a great film. <laughs> ET, yeah, it is. Yeah, and but and, and uh, I was thinking about it a lot this week. For some reason, it shouldn't work. Mm. <laughs> it just shouldn't work, yeah, yeah. and it hasn't worked. I've tried to make loads of these yeah. films, and they like failed. Mac and, Mac and me, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it, there's yeah. just so many of them, isn't there? And I was just thinking, was it nostalgia? And then you watch it back, and you no, think because it was successful at the time, wasn't it? It's yeah, the like it's the that. relationship. It's and, then, the rela- and then, but you watch, you show it yeah. to your kids as well, and they love it. And you yeah. think it can't be nostalgia. Yeah, same here. And I think it's, it's it is just it's just a brilliant film. There's been, and I think it's Spielberg and it's. John yeah, Williams, Williams as John well, Williams as both well, at the it? peak of their powers. There's, there's just, been yeah. certain eighties films that I've, I've shown the kids, and they've fallen flat. And part of yes. it's because they've been about eighties. But well, we look back on it fondly, and yes. you're expecting them to love it. But yeah, but others, they generally love yeah. it for its own right. It's yeah. just a great film. Yeah, the characters. It's about the characters, isn't it? Yeah, because I've got it as my number one as well. Yeah, yeah my, my, me too. Yeah. Uh, you as well, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, Spielberg Williams score, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just trying to think this week, is it? And, it's, and I was trying to think of a way we it wasn't going to be, it's I child, think it shouldn't be, but it, it, I believe it's childlike and it's pure because basically the only way ET would ever survive is if he came to a child because you can't trust the adult, yeah, absolutely, because they the adult will turn, yeah, in or do because of things, yeah, faster, yeah, which is open and yeah, it flips it because yeah. that, that's that's the way I, I see it. It's just beautiful, and it, yeah, it gets and, me and every the, time. The, the beginning bit is very. A very American family. Obviously, it's a broken mm. family as well, yeah. but it's very realistically done. Yeah, as well, and it's in the, in just the conversations they have and things like that. Mm. It's not too um, fake. It's it's very real, and yeah, it, it, yeah. I don't know what it is about it. It has just a like you say. It was Spielberg at his charming best. The score is amazing. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it, it, there is something about it. He's clearly. Yeah, very special film. Yeah. So yeah, I was I was trying to think trying to think of reasons for not mm. to be number one. I probably couldn't. You so struggled, like, you? So you it's got like, well, to be. There's yeah. a reason yeah. for it. Like I say, it shouldn't work when you explain it. You think that sounds like a part of shite, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's it isn't. It's is great, isn't it? And yeah, and it makes everyone cry. It really does. Even even those stiff upper lippers. Yeah, 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 yeah little, definitely. Yeah, dab with a tissue. Yeah. Um, Obvious gag, I'm going to do it now. You can join in if you want. What's E.T. short for? Uh, because he's not tall. Because he's got little legs. Ah, oh, God. I thought you had like, that No, one. no, no. I, no, I, I kind of no. knew the joke, but I didn't know what the punchline was. Yeah. Hence my answer. I just, <laughs> I just, hence, he's I just had a mental, mental blank. <laughs> All right, so we've, um, we've got your three, two, one then, Mr. Mm. Reynolds. We know you're number one, Del. Do you want to tell yes. us your, your three and your two? So Phil's already t- talked. Has he stolen one as well? Yeah, but, um, first blood was my number two actually. Oh my days! But it was close because uh, this has gone more on heart over head because I would have actually had if it wasn't over heart I would have had the King of Comedy because I absolutely love it, but I cannot not put in. Rocky Free. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I just knew, yeah, I, I just because it's I, my number three. So, yeah, no, yeah. mate, it's. Just brilliant. Anything that is Mr. T, Hulk Hogan, rock. It's just, it's fun. It's cheesy. It's entertaining. Like, in, yeah, like I say, it's, what is it? Like, Thunder Lips got wrestling. It shouldn't work yes, again. Uh, ludicrous. The it's, shortest of shorts. It's inspiring. Oh. It's, it's it's weird. It's like, it's gritty. And then the whole theme of the Eye of the Tiger, the soundtrack, again, it's just brilliant. <coughs> it's like, again, it starts to go from here. Like, the obviously, the first two are like, Obviously, the first one's amazing. The second one, it's sort of it, from here, it starts, starts to go a little bit ludicrous, but I love yeah. it at the same time. I love the this ludicrous. is where the franchise starts, yeah, really. Yeah. One yeah. and two could have been standalone, standalone films, films. Yeah. and I think that's probably well, definitely. I think one was gonna, and then maybe love they, the, they saw two as a potential, but I don't think they were looking to go beyond, beyond, beyond. Yeah. but then obviously Stallone just get some big names. Also, love the, the homoerotic or relationship between oh, Rocky and Apollo. Just <laughs> loving it. He's the way well, I think Rocky's wearing a crop top. They're all wearing the tightest of shorts. They're both wearing crop tops. Yeah, yellow, yellow crop top. Yeah, yellow, yellow, <laughs> so rubbing each other down. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. And it's that whole thing at the end. It's like, should we get in the ring? Yeah, exactly. you, you can wear my shorts. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. Ding. yeah, it is. It's, it's all like, very, very it? sort of like. But yeah, again, um, great inspiring speech from Adrian on the beach. 
Always. Before the old, before the training montage kicks in. And Mickey yeah. dies, of course. Mickey dies, yeah, as well. He tells yeah, him he won the fight. Very yeah, touching. He does. Very yes. Touching. He does, but to be fair, Stallone gets a lot of grief, but he's he's acting in First Blood. He, when he plays the breakdown, and when he also like the de- the actual the death scene with uh, Mika, actually, I think he's I th- like I say, I think he plays it really well. I don't, I know he gets a lot of critical. I was gonna uh, say he's never going to get massive. No, but I, I think, um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just a beautiful character. Rocky's just an underdog, isn't he? So it's just that's why I say heart over head, and that's why it's in in there. So Very yeah. True. Can we get your prediction for the fight? Uh, yeah. My prediction. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah, the lines, again, the lines are brilliant. Even the lines that Hogan, Toy Thunderlips, comes out with. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, oh, some of the stuff when he's, they're fighting. and it's yeah. preposterous, isn't it? But it's just to cram in as many big names as they yeah, possibly yeah. could, wasn't it? But yeah, it wasn't usually my cup of tea, those sort of films, but I had to put it in at number three. Um, so my number two, just to sandwich in between yes, Rocky and E.T., it's not the king of comedy. Oh, I, know. Not I reckon I know what it blood. is. Right. It is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, it's that Annie. Annie. Is that yeah. what I was okay. thinking? Oh. I was, I was going to go 48 hours. I you. went Annie. No, I, I contemplated. It was on my honourable mentions, that one. But I, I thought went, you might I go Tootsie. Annie. I fucking Again, hate Annie. That is on my list. Oh, oh, that's the can't go wrong with a bit of Annie. I can't bear it. Come on. Man. I really wanted to... W- w- Hard Knock Life. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind Annie. I don't mind Annie. It's, it's um, just a little pure film, isn't it? So, And it's um, having a redhead in the family. You know, I can't not. <laughs> yes, it, exactly. Um, and Tim Curry's in it, and I love Tim Curry. So yes. That's one of the main reasons it's there, but yeah. it's mainly the songs and it's the mm. fact it's a bit upbeat. Yeah, of course. No, I'll, get, I'll get there, mate, yeah. No, there brilliant. we go. That's, uh, that's three, two, one. But it's nice we, uh, our first, was that our first joint one of the year? I think so, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Oh, what, what was the it? decade. Of oh, the decade, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. I think nice, so. I'm sure there'll be more. Mm. But uh, that's films. Do we go straight into music, gentlemen? Are we, we doing any do honourable mentions? Oh, my, yes. excuse, my apologies. Sorry, yeah, of course. So I've, I've mentioned 48 Hours. Well, you kind of mentioned it for me, but um, the only other one was obviously Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blade Runner, yeah, that was quite like Gandhi for me. Gandhi, yeah, yeah. Me. yeah of course. Yeah. <laughs> Gandhi for me is my favourite. Gandhi for me. Gandhi for me. <laughs> it's Gandhi for me. I love Aeroplane 2, I love as well, the sequel. Yeah. I love the yeah, about Conan not the not Barbarian? Not yeah, not it's very Conan similar, but yeah, Conan. Tron, I tried to watch the other day. I couldn't fucking. Yeah. Oh I feel like God. I should know it and like it, but it's a <laughs> fuck. That always used to be on hard, Christmas. Like, yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Well, Tron. Yeah, yeah. always used to be on Just Christmas. Just after the snowman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tootsie. 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 Yeah, oh, I wanted yeah. to see that. Is it worth watching? Yeah, it's good, I, actually, I, it's Tootsie. It's bypassed yeah. me for... It is good, yeah. It looks good. S- yeah. Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan. Yeah, see, that made me yeah. cry, that did, when I was younger. <laughs> is- and I'm not even a Star Trek fan. That's when Spock gets killed, oh, isn't really? it? So, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh. That was, like, the best. So, and I didn't even like Star Trek. For some reason, I always remember crying watching Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan. Is that because they put stuff in his ears and you had, like, grommets? And that, <laughs> yeah, <really? laughs> I related to yeah, it. So you were like, <laughs> <laughs> was uh, Officer no, and a Gentleman? Oh, I was going to say, yeah. 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 Definitely. Love lift. That's so where we uh, belong. That's when you pal- is that the I first Ballard today, actually, type? Probably, probably yeah. kicks off in there. Yeah, What's that? Quite, yeah. quite, was that the first Ballard type thing from, from yeah, the soundtrack? Been, probably. Def- definitely. Some 80s good sound Ballard, wasn't it? Those, yeah. yeah. Years yeah. down the track. The and Dark Crystal. I was going to say, yeah, it's not bad. I had yeah. Sophie's Choice down as well. Oh, yeah, Sophie's, Sophie's Choice. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah. Powerful stuff. Ooh. Powerful. We go from Tron to Sophie's Choice. It's a mixed bag, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's nice. Cool. Yeah, some decent films. Decent films. Right, gents, it's music time. Uh, I don't know why my voice broke there. <laughs> music time. I get all emotional at this point because <laughs> I know we're halfway through the pod. Um, Dell, give us your top three albums of 1982. My top three um, is, uh, mate, I, I, I was struggling a little bit, played around with this album, and I just, I actually really surprised me. I absolutely love this. He's it's fallen t- back in love with it. It's uh, Two Ray A, Two Ray A by um, Dexy's Midnight hey, Runners. Yeah. Ooh, Absolutely loved this. Okay. This was, um, yeah, I knew obviously Come and Eileen, Jackie Wilson said, but I played the whole album and it's proper upbeat. It's funky. There's violins thrown in. There's a bit of like trumpets. Yeah. It's just upbeat. And it just reminded me like, I've, like, I was I was there having a street party wearing dungarees, just like jumping around in the street in North London. 
I just yeah. thought, yeah, I just thought happy where I listened to it. I mean, come on, so, it's got to be one of the best singles ever, isn't it? Oh, it's great. So, what, yeah. What a song. It is great. The gag that you know is what's worse than come on, Eileen? Come on, then. Olivia Newton John's Grease. <laughs> quite a vile joke so um, I'm going to let you carry on down excuse me there you go yeah, well, <laughs> wasn't expecting that but thanks for that <laughs> no one does um, no and one does. Um, my number two is uh, I'm getting a bit of a, a fan it's the return of the Mac for Fleetwood Mac with uh, Mirage Ooh. and uh, the standout songs that you guys will know is Hold Me or maybe not or Diane and Gypsy yeah yeah but there's, again, I can play this the whole way through. I'm really, really growing into a massive Fleetwood Mac fan. Um, I absolutely Her love them. Her voice is great, though, isn't it? So it's like, yeah, it's so hers great. is... Um, uh, I can't, I was, oh, Lindsay Buckingham's as well is good. And I can't remember the other name of the, uh, the lady... Uh, who's it? Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Pat. Pat's got a great oh, voice as well. But... Um, yeah, Eyes of the World is great as well. Wish You Were Here, uh, Book of Love. It's just, again, a really good feeling, feeling out album. A little bit country, but there you go. Um, this one, <laughs> number one, just um, it's just an amazing album. Like I say, um, I don't agree with the... Well, God, well, I don't know because he's never been found guilty. So it's a bit of a weird sort of element to it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, we kind of know he is. To, we have to put separate. Yeah, the that's what we did. Exactly like we've done before with R. Kelly and that. But it, for music, so, solely for music, this is just an unbelievable album. So you haven't, you haven't mentioned it. I haven't mentioned it. It's uh, Ralph Harris. You've, 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 you've got to rip the, uh, the band aid off. It's it's Didgery My Do by Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it's Thriller by Michael Jackson. So um, beat it, starting something Thriller, Billy Jean. Uh, I've, there's another. I think Pete, a PT, P- pretty young thing, pretty yeah. young thing. But the, the the song that I do want to pull apart, and if he was guilty, I pull him apart. But he probably is guilty, so uh, yeah, we, and we've touched on it before in the show, but um, it's the cringiest song in the world, but I kind of... The girl like, is like, mine. The girl is mine. It's fucking yeah. awful. <laughs> it's, it's so it is, bad. It is bad. It is yeah. like... The at the end with like, it. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, oh, you're kidding. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> it's like, it's, oh, this, oh. It's, it's the worst sort of slanging match ever created. They're like, they can't do beef. They kind of, it's yeah. the most like... It's yeah, but it's it is what it is. Um, so it isn't what it is, but I mean, it's a but, huge album, isn't it? You that's what it is. It's purely on it, on music. Exactly. That's that's the thing. Um, sales, all the rest. It was the biggest album by far of the of the year. Yeah, so, it's, so, well, of all time at one point. Yeah, so, so is it still? If I don't know. if it's you got one hundred and ten million, it's mental. If it? you boys don't want to include it, which I'm happy to do, that I can I can change it for another time. Uh, so I, I think it's fair to. I mm. didn't, but. If if I hadn't have gone down that path, I probably would have included it, but I chose not to. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still a valid valid album, a body of work. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what I mean. So it's <laughs> as long as just, you just um, you know, avoid the fact that he fucked kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I yeah. say. I, I, yeah. It's, it's that's it's just purely music wise. Like he. Yeah. But then again, like I'm not exactly tapping my feet to. Uh, I know two little boys or whatever like, by then I never would be because it's just this is like yeah. the same with R. Kelly I couldn't no, I, think, I think you've got to take the yeah. like, I've, I've, I have included it okay. yeah. and I um, yeah forget what he did and that it's you're good going with solely on the, the yeah. album itself yeah. aren't we so yeah. to Getting, take all that out of it you can go Jerry Lee Lewis and his exactly yeah, yeah. Exactly. yes cousin sister whatever yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah there you go fair play so three, two, one again, just to clarify. So uh, two Ray A by Dexys Midnight Runners, Mirage by Fleetwood Mac, and a Thriller by um, that man, Dodgy McDodgy. That man. Okay, Reynolds. So I took a deep dive this week into the, the album. So I only picked, selected a few albums, and I thought I'll listen to them. I'll concentrate on them once. And I thought I knew what my number one would be. So from the off, I was like Thriller. Big album. Huge. It's got right. some good songs on it. This yes. is bound to be good. I was very underwhelmed. Ooh. Not very. just by The Girl Is Mine, but... Oh, uh, no, that, that was shit. <laughs> that really brings yeah, it's, it's, it, it It's made by three only mm. because I didn't really get a chance to listen to many other albums. <laughs> so by a process of default, yeah. 
alone. I, I wouldn't say it's shit. Mm. And that, that, that is, that that would but be a, it's not. That I was, would be tricky for it, an album that's just sold a hundred. It's years, such a know? big album. Yeah. yeah. I was expecting it to be much better than what it was. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. I was yeah, like, yeah. I was really underwhelmed. Basically, I just put so, it on. I was like, mm. to be fair, you the know actual... you stated or something, do you? Or... Yeah, I mean, one, it's only got nine songs on it. Now, to me, That's... that shouldn't be an album. Minimum oh. should be ten yeah. songs. That's an EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ten to twelve. You would look nine yeah. songs on it. So I was straight away like, what? He's nine songs. Yeah. I mean, he's I want like money back. Yeah, he's like, it must have songs up his sleeve. Just put one more song on the album. Yeah. Round it out. You know I mean, yeah. But so that straight away pissed me off. Nine songs, and you're calling this an album. I'm glad I didn't. No think way. Yeah. And yeah, just yeah. I want to be starting something's good. Baby, be mine. It's all right. The girl is. Oh, that's all. That it made me chuckle because that bit of the end just is like. I think I've got a thriller. I must admit, thriller. I don't like. I've never have. It's the video that makes it, isn't it? Right. Yeah. yeah. Beat it and Billy Jean are yeah. classics. Human nature's good. That's. The other two were okay. It was just, it was just like, meh. it was. It's, it relies on that thriller song, yeah, and the other two classics to yeah. get it through. My opinion, it was as an album overall. Also, doesn't he? The, does he have a light on the front cover? Like, is it a baby? No, not on the back cover. A little baby tiger. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, you got yeah, a tiger right. like straight away. You got yeah. people. It was, I don't yeah. know. I think it's the reputation that's gone before the actual because he'd just come off of. Off the wall, wasn't it? This so that was a big one. Yeah, so I think he was riding a Mm. wave at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, Yeah. but so then I my number two, so I started to listen to other albums. I had much more fun listening to these, and these are albums I've never really listened to. Yeah, so these are all fresh. This so there's no nostalgia to Mm. them, they are me listening to them this week and enjoying them. And I much preferred these, okay. And I feel I've I didn't know what order to do it, but I feel I'm going to do it in this order. I've gone Duran Duran and Rio as number two. Yeah, that was... Sure. I really enjoyed it. It's a, a really one, yeah. good pop album. That, that's what I was going to swap with if you boys. Yeah, yeah, it would have yeah. been Rio. Every yeah. song on it is like really good. It's got the classics like, yeah. um, well, Rio, obviously, and... Uh, hang on, let me have a Hungry Like the Wolf. Hungry Like the Wolf. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, we're listening. Oh, hello. We're going to play it out. Um, or feel for yeah, porn. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Think of it. it. Hasn't denied it. <laughs> yeah. Let's assume it's porn. No, I'm just having a look at Rio. So, where else were on it? So, yeah, it, and obviously I had... Uh, girls on film? Oh, I love... No, I didn't have Girls on uh, film. Uh, Save a Prayer. Save a that Prayer. That was the other one. Yeah. yeah. They're the big three songs, but yeah. the, the fillers good, are yeah. really good. Pop. Yeah. They're a bit... They're, Classical 80s yeah. synthesizer pop song. No, I, I really I had, like that one. I was much preferring it to Thriller. I was just like, oh, this is actually quite good. So yeah, that was that was a good that was a good album. So that was my number two. Number one, I was I I really liked this. The only issue I had with it is it overstayed its welcome. A lot of the songs were really long. Okay. And it was Prince 1999. Ah, see, this is my number three. Yeah. I like it. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed what it. Songs on. So obviously you had ninety nine nine, and then you had um, cool yeah, cool. Oh bear. really? Oh yeah. shit! Which is I've still got on like a running track and stuff. Oh okay. yeah, but Probably every is. song is about six, seven, eight he, minutes he long. Because it's it the just first like, one oh. that he records with the Revolution, isn't it? As oh okay, like, I don't know. So I kind of listened to it, but I was skipping it as I was getting about four or five minutes in. So yeah, I was like, oh, I like it, but I was just like. Oh. All of them got lots of like play out on MTV and stuff. He was on like yeah. constant rotation. Right, I got you. But it's because well, it's so. really funky. Got some really good yeah. songs. It just if it had cut about fifteen minutes off the album, right. makes the songs. Yeah, it yeah. would be really good. We're fine ones to talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Long run. But time. I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Prince fan, but I, I did enjoy listening yeah. to it. Actually, I love I Prince. Admit. Yeah, I, w- yeah. I wish I'd have. Um, um, but yeah, I, 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 like I say, in terms, of, I, I enjoyed listening to them too much more than I did Thriller. Thriller itself. Okay, yeah. that's, that's, that's fair, fair, enough, fair yeah. comment. Can't argue that very Prince heavy episode. I must it? admit, I didn't really listen to Thriller because I just you know it. Don't I know you? it. Sort of yeah, enough so to, to go that is I, big. The other two, but yeah. Listenables. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah, I'd definitely go back to them, like so. Nice. Uh, so I went a different route because obviously I didn't include um, Mr. Jackson. So my number three, Phil, you've mentioned, is 1999 by Young Prince Lington. Um, my number two, I went for The Gift by The Jam. Oh, okay, well. Which was quite a nice. And again, yeah, it's that's... one of those ones that I hadn't listened to properly all the way through. Oh, before it's a town called Malice, isn't it? So you've got Town Called Malice being the biggest hit. Oh, okay. Um Carnations on there as well, which I've heard by yeah. like Gallagher right, covering okay. it, and that yeah. sort of introduced me to that. I like it, um, 
But yeah, he was just trying out sort of new stuff because they were kind of moving away from that classic mod sound. Yeah. The rest of the band wanted to stick with and Weller was going, nah, we're going to try something. Now. He wanted, yeah. Is that this where, is their last one before they broke up. Is it where they go like Beat Surrender and... It's that, that kind of, yeah. Is so Beat Surrender in, in this one? It's the previous. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, so this was like their, their final hurrah without them obviously knowing it when they recorded it. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just a bit smoother and a bit more melodic. Right, got Rather you. than just that classic mod concept. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah no. It's nice. It's a good little no, album. I like the jam. I, I, I do I really that. like the jam. Yeah. Um, and now my number one is going to be possibly contentious mm. because it's a compilation album. Ooh. I know, and we have rules, but to hell with them, I thought, because I couldn't include um, Jackson, mm. so I went with Complete Madness by Madness, if you'll um Yeah, that's a great it, album. Which has got, obviously, all the hits from their first three, so it's kind of cheating, yeah. but... I was say, uh, they weren't around that long, were they? They've been around since the yeah, yeah, late 70s. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were, yeah. yeah. Mate, the so they've been it. about four or five years, and they've already done like a best of. After three, that's, yeah, that's quite, well, when, when that's quite cheeky, you, isn't it? Well, three so, albums, so, yeah, the best stop. It hits number one on the charts, mm. and it's got Embarrassment. Embarrassment, My Girl. My Girl. Yeah. Baggy Trousers, It Must Be Love, The Prince, Night Boat to Cairo, yeah. House of Fun, Fun, One Step Beyond, A Grey Day, Cardiac Arrest, Cardiac and Arrest. more. I mean, Even throwing this cheeky song about Michael Caine. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Richard Dissel. So it's uh, just a lot of fun, and... Um, a nice way to get fat dads dancing at parties, isn't it? Yeah, so. I love them. Yeah, they're playing at actually the O2. I was, I was actually, I said to Claire, so I, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> get, <laughs> Just try yeah. to get tickets. Get tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Came straight on. out wearing the, the flying <laughs> fly goggles and helmet. I and I'd happily watch them again. When we watched Storm of V, they were great. They're yeah, just, exactly. They're, they're just, just a like lot say, of, they're good fun. A lot of fun, aren't they? So, um, yeah. Camden's finest. There we go. Mm. Um, how about some honourable mentions? I haven't really got much. Kate Bush, that's all I've got. <laughs> oh no, I never never saw that. that I've got up, so. yeah, she did one, but I, I listened to a few songs. It wasn't that good. Really, I've got uh, two. Uh, I did have like we talked about Rio anyway, but um, Roxy Music with Avalon. Um, okay, yeah. I like uh, the title's track Avalon and more than this. If um, more than this was like uh, Vice City, do you remember? It was it was heavily played in Vice City. It was one of them songs, but it was... Roxy Music, that's Brian Ferry. Brian, Brian yes. Ferry, yeah. Yeah, so. see, you remember I was explaining... I can't remember what it was. I was explaining about someone liking their music, but they had that 80s voice. Yeah, it's got a... Brian oh. Ferry, that's the yeah, voice okay. I'm trying to say. It's that... It's like, oh. That's the voice, yeah. It's yeah, that Brian so, Ferry yeah. voice. A bit subtle. But, um, yeah. yeah. The, the Clash, their album Combat Rock, had two absolute bangers of theirs... But the rest oh, yeah. of the album was very disappointing. The so they had Kaz- Rock the Casbah, Kaz- Kaz- Should I yeah. Stay or Should I Go? And I love oh, the... Yeah. Cla- um, <laughs> Marvin Gaye's album. I gave that a listen. It was oh, just raunchy. He's a dirty old oh, sausage, wasn't bag. he? Yeah. So I that just sang that Prince's one was as well. He was very uh, sexual. Yeah, yeah, there was a bit problematic, I think, one of the... I remember hearing one of the lyrics. I was like, ooh. Just, no. just the one. Wow. Yeah, no, but like, the one really stuck out. I think, uh, I think it says something yeah. like, move your body like a whore. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. Wow. Prince, you so. cannot say move, that. Wow. Prince Reginald Nelson. Or yeah. Nice. <laughs> Rogers Nelson. <laughs> yeah. And they're really... Prince disapp- Rogers Nelson. Yeah. 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 Story there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a headline. The, um, the really now. disappointing one was Culture Clubs because uh, I thought yeah, they, I thought clever. that might be good. yeah, and it was yeah. absolutely awful. Apart from, yes. do you really want to hurt me? Yes, then, exactly. But, uh, but don't you find that in the eighties, the especially early eighties, yeah, albums were just thought. a couple of singles and then just That's all you needed, and then like B sides. They were like just yeah, just like, filled the just filled the rest up with crap. Yeah, some of them it was a bit like that. It was it's like, like the Go Go's release. Like, yeah, then the big one. Then sort of the rest is like they get tambourine and just throw it against the wall. Yeah, I don't feel it was like till like mid yeah, to late yeah. 80s when they started to actually appreciate our, an and obviously the up. 90s I think definitely was albums were yeah. it was a collection of songs wasn't it yeah it, it was actually a, it was single sales that were doing yeah it. 80s was it does yeah. seem like that it was just like a couple of singles and then just it's kind of kind of way it's mm. going now getting back isn't yeah. it yeah. speaking of which Phil I believe you've got the top 10 singles of the year for us I have indeed top 10 so do, do, you ready do. for this then <laughs> Are you so, ready for that? At number 10. You're ready for this. Bow, 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 bow. Malice. Who? Oh, jam. Town called Town Malice. Malice. Oh, Only a jam. Yep. Really? Oh, oh, that's a great one, mate. That's a big one. 
you know, head of that, Ebony and Ivory. Oh, oh classic. A song we can all get on board yeah. with. Yeah. Paul McCartney and yeah. Stevie. Oh, Wish. is it with McCartney? What? Oh, that's the year McCartney knocked out with. Um, Jackson, yeah, yeah, what is it? What? Yeah. yeah. It's, shit, shit. It's an argument oh. of what one's worse, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah shit, they're, 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 both, they're both fairly <laughs> pony, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah I don't know. I, I think, I think um, the girl is mine is worse. When I'm did he duet with, with the frogs? Uh, <laughs> they oh, sound the like frog, a girl. The frog they, chorus, they sound like yeah. a really sort of like ugly girl band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the frogs. frogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, went under the radar. That's a yeah, exactly. Label. Yeah, go. He, was, he was never good when he duetted. I mean, he, he wasn't. Stick, was he? Stick to the Beatles, really. That's yeah, about it. <laughs> exactly. I don't know who could he. Who could elevate him into like sort of like Paul respectable? McKenna. Paul McKenna. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney. <laughs> McCartney and McKenna. <laughs> McCartney and McKenna sing, uh, doing a cover of Fire or Dragon. I think it was like with Mucky Day, aren't we? Yeah. M- oh gosh, shit. Mac and the Mullock and Tire. The Mullock and Tire. Mac the Knife. <laughs> See, we've got ideas. That's it. Just get in touch with us, Paul. We've got some thoughts. Go on, what's it? What's yeah, like? McKenna's gonna got his mind changing, folks. <laughs> yeah, which Paul? So yeah. We'd get McKenna, not McCartney. Yeah. Wouldn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah, what are the chances? And it would be like a shit version of McKenna as well. We couldn't even afford Me- Megan McKenna. We couldn't even afford <laughs> doing a shit like a non-prime McKenna. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> Who's doing a knockoff McKenna routine? I, like someone, I bet there's someone out there doing it, making fortunes. <laughs> yeah, you know, a wannabe that's Paul a, McKenna. That's like a restaurant. tribute, like tribute band, yeah, like so tribute Paul McKenna. McKenna. He'd be Paul McCartney. Uh, oh. That's some restaurant now somewhere. I mean, some, some Chinese restaurant. There's a knock, <laughs> knock, knock off Paul, Paul McKenna act. He's doing tribute. the Indian restaurant sir. It. <laughs> Trying to hypnotise people. But oh, just... you, want, you want the poppadoms? <laughs> All right, I'll have some poppadoms. Well. <laughs> <I do>. Yeah. <laughs> and the samosas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fancy samosas, it goes. Yeah, oh, go on. He is actually the waiter. <laughs> Can you, he does look like a waiter, doesn't he? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Paul McKenna. We love you, really. And, it, um, and he looks like uh, yeah. John Simpson, their friend's dad, as well. He really does. Mm. Big up, big up the Simpson. Does which which, which will mean, like that. I haven't seen him in Yeah, years. he looks like that. But it'll mean absolutely nothing to no one who's no, listening yeah. to this. No. So in that case, let's go on with number seven. Yeah. Or eight. And number it? eight. Was, Christ, we only got to well, number nine number before we digressed. Was seven tears. Oh, I'm going to oh, do a pop. Goombe dance Oh, band. I did a pop, sir. Tell's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> very excited. I can't believe it said pop. Yeah, it was Goombe yeah. dance band. Okay. Goombay number seven. What, what, sorry, what is that, man? Seven tears. I got a clue. Oh, no idea. I thought he was going to hit me with some Goombe. I was hoping you guys might know what it was. Goombe. You, you read them out and we've realised that you don't yeah. really know many of them so let's try and fill in the gaps I know this one I don't want to dance by Eddie Grant oh, oh I love that yeah, that's that's number seven one. that is a good one. this Eddie. is one I don't I think I might know it but I think you guys will you, do you it. sing what you think it is and then we'll correct so, yeah. you past the duchy musical youth yeah, yeah. come and feel give us I don't a, know how it goes oh you do I know I know I've heard of it it's just, nice. Imagine a past small, the like nah, eleven year old yeah. kids. Yeah, nah, yeah. And yeah. I always, for some reason, it's past the G on the left hand side, and I always think it's he grabbed my balls, he made me <laughs> jump up, he grabbed my balls. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm singing that, that from now on. That's for sure. What, so, what, what, what did I say then? I, I can't remember. Um, he, <laughs> not, I think he, not that. <laughs> not say that. Tal- taladon or Tagadon or something, something like that. I just Taladon. Let's say, but it makes more sense yeah. in your head. Then to he, say, he grabbed my he balls. Grabbed my balls. Because so, <laughs> long way that continue. You. <laughs> Like who's, Back in the eighties, there was a lot of musical youth being grabbed by the balls. I imagine. Yeah, it's, it's Paul Savile and uh, sort of old, old Glitter hadn't been caught then. So. Nah, Harris was still going. Maybe, to maybe they were trying to out them then. Oh my god! Can you that imagine was, like, yeah. musical youth were trying to Mo- tell us yeah. something that we know and listened? Sure. Yeah. We've missed a real trick there, guys. Yeah, we, should, like, we should maybe listen past, to those. They went, on to, they went on to form Watchdog or something like that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe so the may, uh, folds wood was it? <laughs> maybe the you? duchy. Maybe the duchy was a list of sort of like <sighs> all the, the offenders and all, 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 all the evidence, all the worrying they ones. They pass Shit. it on the left hand side. And if you play it backwards, it lists all that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So someone passed <laughs> it on the right, and it went straight into a shredder. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, wasted yeah. forever. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant the guy from the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I did really. <laughs> I did <laughs> shredder. Oh. All right, number five. Yeah. Mm. Do you oh, yeah. really want to hurt me? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, Phil. Yeah. And it's a classic. That, that is a great one. Number four, mm. The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Oh, oh, a Wimber Way. A Wimber Way. Lovely. Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you, but how the fuck was that song made? Oh, that's great. Uh, how, was, how was that even brought to like, the studio's great. attention? Must, must have been one hell of a pitch, wasn't it? I've got a song about lions. <laughs> and got especially, the ripping things apart? Yeah. No. 
I don't know. I just How scoffed. Just nod off. You've got to trust me on this one. <laughs> it's it's avant garde, but it's going to smash the world apart. <laughs> the chorus, I go, Wimble way. Wimble. <laughs> Sold. You're in. You, here's 20 grand. Go make that bad boy. <laughs> Number three, not lions, but Eye of the Tiger. Oh, Survivor. Survivor. Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, no, that's a tune. It's a great bass in there, yeah. I believe. As well. the jungle you are so massive. Great bass in there as well. Yeah. Um, Number two, Fame by Irene Cara. Yeah, if, I like you, can, if you can say it properly, though. Fame! Irene, yeah. oh, right, oh, wow. I thought you said Irene Cara. Right? <laughs> Irene Cara. <laughs> so what, what keeps the greatest uh, leg warmer song of all time Ooh, off the, well. the top? Any guesses? Any guesses? Sid Wynn Valley just covered music literally like five minutes ago. Exactly. It should be fresh yeah, in our yeah, yeah, I was super fresh. fresh. Uh, uh, so you did yeah, Boy yeah, George, yeah. didn't you? Um, Which one did we have from Culture Club? Do you really, really want to hurt, hurt me? me? Is it the other one? Is it Karma Chameleon? It's not, no. I mean, oh. this, this is this is the ultimate party song. Always oh. gets everyone on the dance floor. Oh, um, uh, is it is it uh, Gang Bang by uh, Black Lace? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you're going, oh, okay, I was, I was going the I uh, birdie you, song. I think you had it, the album bad. in your top three. Oh. I can't remember what number you had it, but you definitely mentioned it. Was it, it. Dex's? It was. Oh, come, come on, Eileen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's worthy with it, yeah. That no, does get him up. Yeah. Everyone will have a boogie to that I totally recommend the album, if Hot Sunny Day. Yeah. Yeah, where it put in so your... So the album's called, or you recommend it on a hot sunny day? I recommend it on a hot oh. summer summer day, whack on your dungarees, and then just go skipping little, down the road. Little knotted handkerchief. Yeah, yeah exactly. Shot, yeah. Around a street corner shop. Yeah, exactly. And, and calls adultery with a stranger. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the top <laughs> 10 from 82. Well done. It's good. Right, gentlemen, we approach the end of the podcast. But before we do, got to have a little dip into the letters and emails for the week. Uh, let's see what the listeners have been writing in. Oh, good grief almighty. <laughs> Gary Chainsaw Arms has uh, written directly in. Uh, oh, haven't to, heard from him in a while. Exactly, to, to Blanca Central HQ. <laughs> uh, he says, would you rather have a thumb for a dick or dicks for thumbs? Ooh. Simple as that. And have we had this all, question before? I mean, Gary might be obsessed with dicks. Yeah. Or well, what was your answer then? You should be able to hit this then, Phil. Have we had simple? Sim- sim- I think we've had a few either-ors before, haven't mm. we? But... So to answer the damn question, Reynolds. Dick for thumbs or thumb? Would you rather have one thumb for a dick? Mm. Yeah. Or would you rather have dicks for your thumbs? I know. Yeah. I th- dick dicks for thumbs. Would you? Yeah. I would. No. I, no. No. So what you sit in there? You go. What do I pee out? You go pee out. You go. And there's two massive wangers. Yeah, and then what about? But you'd also have to get erections. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get a bonus yeah, to put your thumb right. so Yeah, and then what do you pee out? How thumb. do I go to the toilet out of a thumb? <laughs> <laughs> My bladder's going to explode, isn't it? So. Well, you know, while you're standing there just giving someone a thumbs up, yeah, one of yeah. the, old, the other one's. No, you can't piss a thumbs. They are thumbs. You're having the dick as thumbs. <laughs> then your thumb's going to be a dick. <laughs> he keeps doing this. So, like Fonzie. Uh, hey, I'm just yeah. doing it for purely health reasons. If I have my... Health. Oh, if I have, purely health reasons. If I have my dick as thumbs... <laughs> yeah. hey. I, he's got the A on there. He's Fonzie. He's got the hey, cat hey. for the A. Hey. I can... Yeah. Basically, if I have a thumb as a dick, I can't go to the toilet, can I? I mean, about, it's, oh, well, it's replaced, presumably. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. It has got a hole in my thumb. Else. I haven't maybe, got a hole in my thumb. Maybe you've got it as a tail. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe you can peel back the nail and, it, and you fire out yeah. this. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you just get a bag put in. No, I'm, I'm sticking with my answer. That's it. Oh, I'm gonna, no, I'm going to have a thumb. thumb. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah, have well. a thumb for a dick because like, it's not, not going to be the biggest thing, but it's, it's, it's going to stay hard all the time. Too darn right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to be floppy thumbs. Exactly. Like, and, and, and also, you got your dick, dicks on show. You're like, going to end up having an infection and die because <laughs> you can't go piss anywhere. You're just going to be <laughs> just drowning in your own. Fill in with you. Yeah. Well, I'll, 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 I'll have an operation. I'll get someone to, yeah. It's the I could get a catheter put in. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, man. Think logically, <laughs> Reynolds. Exactly, Come man. on. Come on, yeah. Yeah. honestly. Well, Gary, we've got different go. different uh, answers. Boom, boom. One of them must be right. Um, we go to a question instead from uh, Meg on Toast. Oh, she says, if it's hey, possible, <coughs> excuse me, if it were possible, what kind of liquid would you like to replace your tears with? So I'm going to go straight in gravy. 
Ooh, gravy. I want, I want that still well, salty. Can, Kentucky gravy. Thick, Kentucky it? gravy. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's still, it's, it's still salty, but it's oh, delicious. Yeah. Well, Chips on the face, isn't it? I'm thinking more <coughs> savoury. I, I quite like custard. But Ooh, thick. Yeah. I like the thickness yeah. to yours, Jim. Yeah, custard just drip. Ooh, down. Yeah. Ooh. And I like cold custard, a hot custard or cold custard, so it doesn't bother doesn't me. No, yeah. no, 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 It'd be nice if you've got, say, I say you've got a bit of a dry cake, you're out in a, in like a coffee. I don't know, you're out in a custard or something, you've got a cake Little and it's a bit a stale cake. and you're yeah. oh shit. And then you say, yeah, like, make what? yourself cry. Watch ET, make yourself cry. Straight away. Straight away. In your mouth. Nice. Mm, yeah. Mr. Reynolds. Not feeling Similar it. Similar texture to tears. I think I'll go vinegar. <laughs> What for Vinegar. your chips? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and it'd like, so you like, just like and it would that. sting. It would sting. And you'd yes, sting as well. That, that, that vinegar reeks. As yeah. It, like, rolls down. Yeah. So yeah, like you know when you can get oh. you know when you can you at the cinema it's dark <laughs> watching a sad film and you want and you can vinegar. get no but you can get away with a like a um you can get away with a little cry about no one notice can you like, yeah, 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 yeah you can't was, do yeah. that with this it one it stink of vinegar. You're just like are you crying. So like you getting caught out. Well, like, so you want people to catch you no out. There's no secret crying. Oh, okay. Is, you're getting... So is this everyone or just you? Oh no, everyone. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So oh, basically, you can. There's right. no secret crying. It's not helping all. you to sort of man up. No. No, no. It's like you're, you're like being. Yeah. Show board. your feelings. It's okay to cry. cry. That's what I'm saying. Stick of vinegar in the cinema. <laughs> and so then, if that is the case, <laughs> people will just give me a campaign. People will just admit and go, "Yeah, I'm crying." Get over it. Conservatives ran on that. Yeah, exactly. Get over it. Stick of vinegar. Get the chips. Vinegar, you know exactly. That was there. It's okay slogan. to cry. It is okay to cry. I'm saying. Plus, your chips will taste good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, Meg. Three very different <laughs> liquids, but mm. all valid. I feel. Um, we move to a question from Fox Bucksworth, who says, "Give me your top three chocolate bars of all time." Bang. Ooh. The big question. That's a tough one. That's they are tough, yeah. aren't they? Mm. Three, three, some... three top, top three. Top three. Mm. We're all about the top threes on uh, on the podcast. So I'm going Kinder Egg number one. Is that a bar? No, yeah. Are you allowed that? Are you sure? We well, can have a bueno, bueno. Yeah, that's bueno. Kinder that's got egg. the biscuit in it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's got to be Kinder. Yeah, but it's still a chocolate bar oh, as well, such. Yeah. They do. I think they do have. They the, do the, Kinder the, bars, the wavy ones, don't they? Yeah, but it's got to be Kinder Egg. Is that, that yeah? It's just because you want the toy, isn't it? You don't, no, give it's it's about, it's it's you don't give a shit about. Don't give a shit about the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The chocolate is nice. <laughs> um, just throws it. Yeah, Luz, Luz is that. <laughs> Probably a. Now, where's that shitty plate that I'm making for? Is it parts? biscuit and raisin Yorkie bar? Yes. That's, that's yeah. Yeah. So I'd go Yorkie, but I wouldn't go biscuit and raisin. Just plain. No, plain I like chocolate. the biscuit and raisin one. You could break a tooth on that if they were hard enough. You put them in the fridge. Yeah. See, I'm trying to go elaborate, but I'm going plain. So have you got your? Because I because. You, you said know, Yorkie, not, I know I'm my top, really three top I'm not really a chocolate person, so I'd probably just go with something like Dairy Milk, number three. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I'd no. go Dairy Milk, Dairy milk. Yorkie, no, ooh, no, Dairy Milk top one, Galaxy two, and Yorkie Oh, hang on, three. no, something's just ooh, quickly coming top three, Double Decker. Oh, Double yeah, Decker? I do love a Double ooh. Decker. Ooh, double yeah. Decker three, Yorkie two, Kinder yeah. Egg one. What about you, Jimmy? Um, I think you've kind of touched on a lot of them. Double Decker, I do enjoy a Double Decker. A Double D. Double yeah. D. Double yeah. D. Love, love Everyone loves Double D. Double um, D. Can't go wrong with a, a classic dairy milk, can you, to be quite honest? No. A giant bar. But, yeah, a fuck I mean, off we're not bar. Messing around. Yeah. One bigger than your leg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's a single serving. Bigger, yeah. Um, and, oh, man, I did, oh, what were they? A toffee crisp used to yeah toffee crisp similar, are decent yeah similar to a, a you used to like boosts as yeah, well boosts. Boosts. oh That's yeah, nothing, yeah boosts. like boosts um, basically yeah. nothing from now no 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 back, going they're back. all small yeah, yeah. as well. like boosts are really boosts, small now mate, you used to get spirals as well do you remember spirals oh, I spirals yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. twelve twelve's good actually twelve is a decent bar yeah go. spirals one whispers <laughs> oh, about drifter oh, man, mm. drift. drifter yeah drifter. Oh. Hopefully. They still do drifters. I don't know. I think they do. I'm going out tomorrow. They did go out and then they came back in, didn't Ooh, they? But yeah. I think they might be. But yeah, spirals so, aren't no more. No, no. no. Yeah, no. I used to have a spiral. Bring them back. Fuse. Yeah. Fuse. Fuse. Yeah, fuse. Yeah. 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 It's a bit like a picnic, but not quite. Yeah. Uh, not a picnic fan. I thought you loved nuts in your mouth. Yeah, uh, yeah any of that chewy shit like lion bars. I was never a yeah. lion bar fan. Just like yeah, because sometimes you get. 
Depends. If you get a good one, they are nice. But sometimes you get a one that's really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, yeah. yeah so it's... I used to love the it's advert. We used miss. to snap it in half and it used to roar like a lion. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. The way, you know. And then if you just play Dark Side of the Moon... <laughs> yeah, at the can... same time. <laughs> <laughs> Line it up. <laughs> okay, well, plenty of choice in there. Mm. We might even throw that out on the uh, on the old socials and see with what other people think on that one. Yeah. That one will sure. run and run. So, we move to um, a question from Glingoolies, um, and he says, "My nickname at school was Rainy Face, as in Rainy Face, I think. Rainy Face. My nickname at school was Rainy Face. Can you tell me why this was? So you've got to guess why his nickname was Rainy Face. <laughs> Do we know the answer?" I have an answer here. You have an answer. He has given me the answer. So Glenn has given me the answer. Rainy face. But his nickname was Rainy Face. But can you guess at why that was? Know, a lot of freckles or something? Or like raindrops? They look like spots on the face. Did he? Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't know. I don't know. Rainy face. Rainy face. Uh, Mr. D, have... can you think of anything that might... Did he... Do you have a knee for a face? I yeah, don't think he had a knee for a face. That is not the answer. Right, okay. Down. Rainy. Rainy. It's so confusing. Why did, why did you go a knee for a face? R- Rainy. Rainy. Face. Yeah, so it can't be that then. Um, I don't know, mate. Um, well, I can, I can, did he cry all the time? He didn't cry all the time, I can tell cry. you. Ray, Rainy face, Rainy face, yeah. Cry, when cry. he was eight, his mate Ray kneed him in the face. I think he just wanted to get that off his uh, off his chest. Oh, okay. shit. There you go, Glenn. Thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting him. <laughs> it, was, it was emotional. I, I feel like we've learned a little feel something li- there. Little, looks like you may feel mad. <laughs> 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 okay, let's let's see if um, Alibaba Black Sheep can um, bring you out of your funk. Yeah. It says, who would you prefer as your roommate? Okay. An ostrich on amphetamines or a seagull on laxatives? Ooh. It's the age-old question. It's one that's kept the greatest mind <laughs> of the uh, 21st century. An ostrich on amphetamines, or what was the other one? A seagull on laxatives. So either you've got a six-foot bird that wants to peck at you yeah. off his tits, off his tits, or you've got a seagull shitting everywhere. Ooh. I mean, it's see, I way. might, as disgusting as it sounds, I might go with the whole shit the because seagull. at least at some point. It's going to run out. It's going to run out, but quicker, I think, than a fucking ostrich on and a large Yeah, and, and the yeah. damage that bird would do. Oh, d- delicious. At least, yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah. the most health risk you're going to get is if you consume the crap. Exactly. As long as but, yeah. you stay, you know, downwind yeah. or upwind well, of it, you're probably okay. So at least if you put a pillow, pillow over your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. maybe. Um, They're yeah. all but little fuckers, those seagulls, aren't they? They are. Little? Little, yeah, is that what I mean? They are little compared to an ostrich, though, mate. I don't know. Some of the know. ones I see floating around. The <laughs> you got bloody Rayleigh. Enormous, bloody enormous, mate. <laughs> the old seagulls in Rayleigh, Rayleigh stuff. Seagulls the size the of ostriches. huge. Yeah, well, let me tell you. <laughs> like, like, flying it's, dragons. Uh, taking away, like, sort of the mayor of Rayleigh. <laughs> they're carrying away three or four kids at a time. <laughs> Building nests. Oh, no, I, think I, an ostrich. I think they're just cuter, ostriches. <laughs> cuter, as yeah. they're pecking you to death. <laughs> yeah. Or kicking the shit out of you. Yeah, I hate seagulls. Stephen seagulls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good Good question. Good answer. Um, all right, I'm going to go one more, and then we're going to wrap this up. So okay. uh, Vanessa Magpie has written in, and she says, what's the silliest phobia you can possibly think of? I mean, there's some pretty weird stuff mm. out there anyway, but yeah, no, think I think something that's... The one I know of, I mean, there's... There's, I was I looked into this quite a bit because I was actually <laughs> no, it, phobia pervert. You no, know, I was actually yeah, writing. I was I was writing something with gentle years ago. I was writing a yeah. was writing a phobia sitcom. <laughs> of course you are. And, yeah, of course, um, yeah. There's one where you got a phobia of getting peanut butter stuck to the top of your mouth. 
I can't remember what it's called. That's an right. Phobia. It's an actual phobia, yeah. Oh. And there's a phobia of long words, and the phobia is a really, really long, long words, word. Yeah. Is really? Yeah. Oh. It's like, you know the one about like the Friday the Thirteenth. Do you see the um, Inside Number Nine? Yeah. Right, okay. They do one about that. It's, that's like try a trick or something. It's really? Yeah. All of them are difficult to say. Phobia of long words. Do you remember the girl we used to know that used to be scared of the A one two seven? Oh yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, quite well. Yeah, yeah. You know, we tell you off. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, she used to be sick when she got. So the f- oh, to lie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fear of yeah, yeah. long words is hippopotamonstrosquidelaphobia, <laughs> and that's easy for you to say. <laughs> Why did you read it out like an eight-year-old? Because it's hard to read. Well, out, not even an eight-year-old. It's about a five-year-old. I mean, it started with hippomonstrous. Yeah. <laughs> hippomonstrous. Sound, yeah, sound it out. You're doing it so well. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the fear. So yeah, so it'd be one of them two probably. So you're not going to create. You're going to just come up with a proper. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the peanut butter one. I like the idea that that is really getting awesome. peanut butter is a phobia. Yeah, which implies that more than one person must have that. And for it to be recorded mm. in a just don't eat fucking peanut butter. Exactly, just don't go near it. Most of these things are like just don't go there or don't mm. do that. Or what yeah. about you, Del? Uh, fear of nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Called habit of phobia. <laughs> yeah, habit of phobia. Habit to have. Oh, that would ah, be good. Yeah, so we, yeah, so we, um, don't know. Um, starfish phobia. Are people but, are people that are scared of going back to it? Are people that are scared mm. of nuns also scared of like? Penguins and that, yeah, it must well. be yeah, yeah, double trouble. Yeah, could be double trouble. Imagine that. Go imagine like, just scared of black and white. Mate. Or if, imagine if you went into a nunnery and they'd frozen the floor and there was loads of penguins and ice skates in just there as well. Around. Yeah, just like yeah. I think that'd be the greatest. Whilst day Happy ever. Feet is playing, I would love that. I've got <laughs> one of the happiest days ever. That'd be amazing. <laughs> you know what to do, you, Jimmy, for your fiftieth. And there's zebras, zebras, zebras in there. there and... Oh, mate. Yeah. Anything in it? Oh, love why, that. why is there prison? It's black and white. Oh, okay, black and white. Okay. Yeah. There you and go. Was, what about you, Jim? Michael was, Jackson. Uh, oh, 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 Michael I playing, Jackson. Yeah. oh, I was playing terrible songs. <laughs> Michael album. Jackson dressed as a nun. <laughs> no problem. Uh, odd phobia. <laughs> Jesus. I think I've got a phobia of Michael oh. Jackson now you mentioned it. Uh, oh, beat it. Yeah, maybe a. Macaulay Culkin, beat it. Maybe a, a phobia of a 1970s <laughs> wrong uns. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Go cool. Called uh, Peter B- F- BBC presenter of phobia. <laughs> We're just going with Peter phobia. <laughs> Peter file phobia. Wow, that's what it is. Peter file phobia. Yeah, that is just oh, a phobia of Peter's. Oh, that is. That's maybe what I'd go. Yeah, this could be. You can make a whole phobia like, of Peter's. <laughs> Peter Duncan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. The only Peter I can think of the that Peter. my mind went blank because of my phobia. Oh, what about like it's Andy cool. Peters? Does that ah, count? I don't like oh, it. No, Peter, no, no <laughs> Peter Pan. Ah. Oh, yeah, no. no I don't like oh. it. Peter Peterson. Peter Peterson. What a nightmare that oh, was. Man. God damn him. Peter Peterson from Peterborough. <laughs> damn him. Oh, okay. fucking hell. <laughs> That's what I say. Well, there you go. An interesting bag uh, this week. They seem to be getting odder. Mm. The, uh, oh, I feel the that. Listeners. You do. Oh. No offence. Keep writing in. Okay. Keep, keep, keep them coming. We need more to talk about. Please. <laughs> right, that's 1982 smashed out the park, chaps. Well done. Good work as ever. Um, now, Blankers, we're off for a team bath and a rub down, but we'll be back with you all again very soon. So whilst we're away, don't forget to check out the Spotify playlists. We've got, obviously, a 90s and a 2000s version, but now the 1980s version is also out, and it gets updated each week with our selected picks from the year. So our 1982 picks will be going up live. Just search Not 40, Just Blank podcast. But until we meet again, chaps, anything more to say? Um, yeah, this raisin's not the way it should be. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. See you next <laughs> week, Blankers. <laughs> Ta-da! See you, guys.